Here's the LG Pop, a device that was released on Rogers, and there's something about this device that is immediately attractive, mainly because it's incredibly small, very simplistic in design. See, there's nothing complicated about it. Only weighs 89 grams, so you won't even feel it in your pocket. Incredibly thin, packs up to 16 gigs with a micro SD card, has a 3 megapixel camera that can take videos, and also it's got a touch screen three inches. So we did a hardware review before. Let's take you right into the software, the nuts and bolts of this. You can see that when the device is locked, all you have to do is slide the actual slider up and it reveals the main menu area. Now this does come with three different desktops that you can use. This is your contacts, live square, and also your widgets. In addition to these three widgets, or three screens, you can really get right into the S-Class series that LG has developed. We saw this before in the new chocolate. Located in four different categories, communication, entertainment, utilities, and settings. You can either view a portrait or landscape to view the entire amount of applications that are on your device. Really easy, simple to navigate. So let's go straight in here, show you some of the features that come along with this. You can see on the bottom right hand side, it does light up in red or green. This is for your call and pick up hang up button. Also it takes you straight into your main menu, all your call features when it comes to actually using the device. I made calls, very clear reception, nothing to complain about when actually hearing somebody or people listening to us. This is all wiped because I didn't want anyone to hear or see my numbers that I dialed. For the widget screen, you can add and remove widgets. All you need to do is touch that button on the right hand side, drag and drop the widgets that you don't want, or put them right back onto the desktop. You can see also it says shake to auto align. It's going to shake it and it makes everything in an organized fashion. When it comes to your live square, I'll show you that in one second. You can see on the contacts area, I've got a few contacts that I have on here. If you do want to eliminate or add, simply drag and drop straight into the desktop here. Shape to auto align and it does it align for you. So let's say I wanted to send a message to Jared. You can see I've got different options here. You can send a message, call, put the contact into trash or edit it right away. Say you want to edit it everything you can do straight from this area right here. Gonna go back. Gonna send Jared a message. Takes me straight into text messaging. Maximum number of characters 160. You can use the keyboard T9 or you can go for a full QWERTY keyboard. Now one thing about the keyboard, it's incredibly tight. It's so small, mainly because the actual device is really small. 3 inch display, full QWERTY keyboard. It's going to send a message saying thanks. This does take some getting used to, so depending how good a texter you are, you will need to get used to this keyboard. Says Jared that I sent a message. I'm going to go back out, go into my live square. You can see that Jared does show up right there and that a message has been sent to him. So this basically gives you all the communication you have, not only on a daily basis, but every communication that you do have in a nice, friendly, and fun manner. These are all cartoons that are just hopping around there. So we'll go back out. Go back into my widgets area. Go into the social networking aspect of it. Does Facebook, MySpace, and also Twitter See if I can load up Twitter. It's going to ask me to sign in. And the Twitter client, really simple, similar to what you would see on your actual device, other device that you have. Pretty basic, nothing too challenging about this. It does lay it out nice. The touch screen is really responsive as well. You can see how it does load it up. It gives you all the people that you are following. So it's pretty basic, nothing too complicated about it. 
When it comes to other features of this, you can see that, as I said, go straight into here. For your email, use mobile mail so you can hook up your Gmail, Windows, your Yahoo mail, Rogers Yahoo mail, basically any other email that you do have. I'll just go back, I'll show you what the Gmail does look like. The touch screen, as I said, is really responsive. The only thing you'll need to get used to is that keyboard. So as it signs in here, you can see that when it does load up, it loads in a nice manner. You won't have any issues finding the emails that you want. It's this 3-inch touchscreen that makes this device that much more attractive. For other features such as IM, a couple IM clients, Windows Live, and also Messenger. I showed you text messaging. Let's go straight into the camera. 3 megapixel camera can take video. I'll show you the media features, the video. This is a video that I did shoot yesterday. You can see it does come up a little bit pixelated. It's got a 3 megapixel camera. The volume is decent. Just go back and play it. The video that I did download. Now this is at full blast. 30 is a top notch. It does come up a little bit muffled. No 3 now, no matter if you have to you might be able to see there too. Listen to the video. You want to get a decent sound with the external speaker? You have to take it down to about 20. And then it comes a little bit clearer and tolerable. So use the entire screen. A little bit uh, pixelated when it comes to actual watching videos. When it comes to your pictures, here you can edit your images, send your images. I actually really like how it's set up here when it comes to showcasing your images. You can see that you can slide accordingly to the images that you do on really quickly. Like I said, 3 megapixel camera, outside pictures were great, even on a dark day. Inside pictures were good as well. If you want to edit them, just press it. You can see on the right hand side there, you can do all your editing features. Quickly show you some other features. Take you into the internet, which I found was incredibly challenging to use. It's going to Yahoo, it'll bring up the mobile client. One of the things that you want to do is probably download Opera Mini, make the browsing experience that much better. Just go type in another address. One of the things that I think they could have done is put a .com somewhere on, on here to make it a little bit easier to get your way around. See, I went to NBC.com. Brings up their mobile browser as well. So overall, the internet was a little bit challenging. Other features. You can see that it's really well laid out. It's got an FM radio. You can do all your settings. Change the display to make your battery life a little bit longer. Media player, contacts, calendar, call history. But really the main feature of the POP is how thin it is, how light it is, 
The touchscreen is incredibly responsive. Got three customizable areas that you can really make this a unique device. Sound quality could be improved, browsing experience could be improved, but overall, a very cost-effective device at $19.99 on a three-year. You won't have any challenges with this. Battery life should last be about two days. So we'll have more information on the LG Pop and its touchscreen abilities, specifically the QWERTY keyboard that I think you'll really need to get used to. LG Pop. More information on mobilesyrup.com.